I'm Lauren Struck, and as part of my ongoing recipe videos, as part of my monthly newsletter, I have a whole new entree for you that's really tasty and really easy to make. It is chicken a la orange. Chicken a la orange. I saw this recipe on Food Network probably about a year ago, and I finally got around to creating it, and it's, like I mentioned, very tasty. Um, the reason that I bookmarked it was because one of my guilty pleasures when I order Chinese takeout is orange chicken, so I thought this would be something interesting to try a little bit more of a healthier spin on it. So let's talk about the ingredients that you'll need. Two to three chicken breasts, salt and pepper to taste, four tablespoons of honey, a half a cup of frozen orange juice concentrate, and uh, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. As I usually do, I am substituting one of the ingredients, and that is the vegetable oil. I'm using coconut oil instead. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is make this orange glaze that is gonna go on the crispy chicken. So let's do that first. To make this glaze is very simple. All you have to do is take the four tablespoons of honey and the half a cup of frozen orange juice concentrate with a little bit of salt and pepper just to add uh, some spice to it. Boil that on medium heat for three minutes. You definitely want to make the glaze first. Uh, last time that I made the chicken a orange, I made it in kind of in the middle of the recipe and making it first really allows it to thicken up a little bit. In the meantime, you can also take this opportunity to preheat your oven to 375. We're going to move on to the chicken now and I'll tell you a little bit more about that orange juice concentrate, what you can do with the leftovers. Another thing I should mention about that glaze is that if you know you're going to want a lot of sauce on your chicken, then probably make a double batch of it. I actually wanted to do that this time around, but I didn't have enough honey to do so. But uh, just a heads up, if you think you're gonna want a lot, just double the ingredients for that. So um, whether you double the ingredients on the orange juice concentrate or not, you will have a lot left over. That was my preheating, it's all set right now. Um, so you'll have a lot of orange juice concentrate left over. And for me, I don't have to sound like a snob or maybe to sound like a snob, but I don't drink orange juice is just loaded with sugar concentrate. It's just not the real thing. So I would end up throwing it away. So the first time that I made this recipe, I thought, why don't I kind of marinate the chicken in that leftover orange juice concentrate, which is what I am doing here. And that's why it's sitting in there. Um, I had also read uh, a lot of comments on the Food Network recipe online, and some people were saying it wasn't sweet enough. Other people were saying it was too sweet. So depending on your taste, I love sweet. So I was like, I'm definitely going to marinate it. But if you think that this overall recipe is going to be too sweet to your taste, just skip this marination process. But what you are going to have to do is salt the chicken and pat it dry before we take it to the frying pan. And that is because salting the chicken and patting it and really patting it in there is not only going to make the chicken crispy, but it's also going to minimize the splashing from the oil. So we have salted it, really press it in there. This is all set, so let's take it to the stove. I've got my pan on medium high heat, and as I mentioned, I'm substituting the vegetable oil. I'm using one tablespoon of coconut oil instead. I'm doing this, um, I really like sweet, even though when you do cook with a coconut oil, it does not make, you really don't taste coconut in it. It's not really a sweet. Um, oil overall when it, as far as affecting food, uh, but it is a healthier option, which is what I'm going for here. We'll take that chicken. We're going to be doing the skin side only, only for about uh, five minutes or so. We're pretty much just browning it, getting it ready. Yeah, there we go. After they have become crispy brown, just a little golden brown, flip your chicken to the skin side up Again, we're using the bone-in chicken, and apply your glaze. Oh yeah, it smells so good. Leave some leftover, don't use all of it, because we are going to add some more halfway through the cooking time, and I like to add a little bit more at the end too. So your oven is already preheated to 375 degrees. Let's pop these babies in. We're going to be cooking it for about 15 minutes according to the recipe. Last time I did it, it was about 20 minutes. Um, basically, you're going to want your chicken to be between 160 and 170 degrees. The chicken has been cooking for about half the time now, about uh, what I'm doing, 10 minutes. So let's take it out and apply another coat of glaze. Oh, I can't tell you how good this smells. 
And now this glaze is really starting to thicken. So you might want to make the glaze, I don't know, maybe a half an hour prior to actually starting the cooking. We are coming down to the final stretch. Basically, we just have to make sure that internal temperature is between 160 and 170 degrees. Perfect, right in that vicinity. Transfer your chicken from the pan to the plate. Let that cool for at least 10 minutes. And then take the bone out and enjoy. I'm going to add another coat of glaze to this. Let me get another close-up on the iPad now that they're out of the oven. I am glaze happy. So you can see why I'm like, hey, maybe I should make a double batch. As far as pairing with this food, Food Network, uh, the recipe that they did on the show, they paired it with fennel slaw. And a lot of people, again, in the comments were saying that it was a really good pairing for it since the chicken is sweet and the fennel, the bitterness and the fennel slaw kind of threw it off a little bit. I'm probably just gonna have some rice with it because I like the sweet and I like it as is. So as usual, try it for yourself. It's so simple, it's so good. At least I think so. But let me know what you think. Either comment on this YouTube video or hit me up at my email, which you can find on my website at laurenstreck.com. And that's also where you can sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you next month.